Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day, good Easter, good weekend, all of it, right? We have a beautiful banger story, right? And I don't say that often, so you gotta know this one is, it's top tier, okay? This is drunk driving a week after I got my license, all right? And I've kept this story in the vault, you could say, for a while, right? Because it involves certain family members that I know if they saw this, they'd be real mad at me, right? But I've gotten to a point where I just don't care, right? So it's time to reveal a beautiful story. So to get started, right? The car I'm in now is a Corolla. It's nice. I think 2011, safe. It, it moves on the highway. I like it, right? Now, the not the day I turned 16, but really quickly after I turned 16, I got blessed, right? I got lucky that my grandpa had a real, real, and I don't mean to be mean, but it's just the honest description, a real shitty um Highlander, right? And the thing was from the 90s, it was beat up. It The seats had been like pissed on, I think. I think someone peed themselves in the seat in one of the seats. Like it was just a disgusting car. You know what I mean? But when you're 16 and a guy and, you know, I was dumb back then. I just wanted to skirt around. I was hyped that I got this car, right? Now, certain people in my family members, my father, right, drinks a whole lot. And he must have seen this as an opportunity to, hey, my son can drive me places, right? But the thing was, back when I was 16, I liked to party all the time, right? And like now, I just smoke. I smoke 24-7. I'm 90% of the day I'm high, whether I'm doing something important or not. I'm past the fact of like, oh, this is important. I have to be sober. You know what I mean? It's just smoking is basically sober. I know that sounds wrong. Or if you're a stoner, you get it though. It's like you do everything high. So if you're not high, it's just kind of weird. So... Back then, though, it was anything. I would have done anything except, like, heroin or meth, right? So I'm getting lit in my room. I still remember this. It's back when I had TikTok. Uh, well, I have TikTok again now, but back when I was, like, active on TikTok, had a lot of followers, right? And I would go on live and I would drink. So I, I had been drinking for most of the night. I drank, like, five or six, maybe, like, seven White Claws, right? Like, I was lit for my 16-year-old self. I was having a great night, vibing. My my vision was blurry, like completely, not like uh, not like blackout, but like if I drank another four to five, I probably would have. You get what I'm saying? Like I had very blurry vision. So I'm hanging out in my room and I get a text, right? And I'm not, I'm not chill with my father, right? Like I'm, we don't like each other. That's just how it's been for a long time, right? Back then, it was a little more lenient. This is like four years ago, right? So I get a text like, hey, can you pick me up from this house that wasn't far away, right? And I was like, no, I can't, right? And I texted, I can't remember, honestly, but I'm pretty sure I texted I'm drunk. Like, I can't drive at all, right? But the text I got back was, it was like, I'll pay you five bucks and we can get whatever food you want, right? Which when you're intoxicated sounds a lot better than when you're sober, right? If I was sober, I probably still would have said no, but it was only like five minutes away and I was drunk. So I wanted food. You know what I mean? Like I wanted food and I'm thinking whatever I want, we can get Taco Bell, we can get McDonald's. It was worth it in my 16 year old head, right? You could see how you could put the blame on me or him, both of us, whatever, right? I don't really care who gets the blame. This is like an Olympic four years ago, right? So I'm like, fine, I'll come pick you up, right? I go and pick him up. Now, the drive there, I was pretty much fine. I was going real slow, but once I picked him up, I don't know. I had my music blasting. We were going to get Taco Bell. I could barely drive in the drive through dude. My vision was so blurry. I'm going side to side, just trying to go straight down the drive through But he was really drunk, too, so I don't even think he noticed that I was... um you know what I mean? That I was like swerving or anything because it was the drive through I was just trying to get straight like through there. It didn't work too well, but I did it right now after the Taco Bell. It's about a f less than f a two to five minute drive home, right? There's like three stoplights. I drove like an idiot, dude, this whole time, right? I can still remember myself on this one road and it's not a windy road. It's a straight road, but to me, it looked so windy. I remember going like feeling like the car was leaning left, even though I was turning right. And then same thing opposite. When I had to turn right, it felt like I was like moving left, dude. I could see why you shouldn't drive drunk. I can't believe it was legal to drive drunk for so long, right? Like, that's crazy because I could not drive for shit. Like, I was worried about it. I remember I was in the car, and usually when you're drunk, you don't give a fuck. And a part of me did not give a fuck, right? I was like, yeah, this is great. But another part of me also was like, damn, I'm lit right now. Like, I should not be the one driving, right? And what eventually happened is we 
get back to our neighborhood and he gets out of the car he goes in and I always like to stay in my car for a while right it's probably it was before I even made videos but maybe my body knew that like hey one day you're gonna sit in your car and talk for a long time right anyways I was sitting in my car and I t I waited a second I was like you know what let me let me take a little cruise, you know, just around the neighborhood just to see if I can drive, right? Just the stupid drunk thoughts you have. So I pull out, I go around my neighborhood, and I went around it twice. The first time, completely normal. I mean, I'm sure I was swerving a little bit, but to me, it was normal. That second time, I take a left at this stop sign, right? So all I have to do to get home is take a left on my road, like literally my little cul-de-sac, and then turn in the house. Like, that's all I have to do, right? I'm waiting to turn left and I see a car coming and I'm I'm just sitting there like smiling, like just drunk, you know, I'm sitting there like, like, mm, you know, and as I'm going to turn left, what's that one car that drives past me? A sheriff, right? Not even a cop. Well, I mean, it is a cop, but a sheriff, like the main, the main cop, right? So I see that and that quickly, quickly knocks some sense into me. I was like, okay, time to go home, time to go to sleep. Like that was stupid, you know, but at first I said no. So really, I mean, it was my fault for eventually saying yes, but you got to think. I got I got bribed into this situation with some Taco Bell, okay? Any food you want, you're going to say that to a drunk person, especially a 16-year-old who's not that smart. So it wasn't a smart decision, but I'll have you know that I did do it. Um, you could say minorly successful because I was swerving definitely. I remember going over the line. Like if my car had a beeper back then, like if they had beepers, you know, my thing would have eh, as soon as I went off the line, right? But no, this is old car, 90s car. I'm just driving in the middle of the road, just fucked up, right? So maybe not the greatest, but for someone who, uh, as a partying story, it's kind of beautiful. Like, um, like, you know, when people are like, oh, I was on a cruise and it crashed, I survived. I was on a plane crash, I survived. I drunk drove and survived. So, you know, rest in peace to anyone that did. And that was very stupid of me. I'll never do it again. But I did do it and I got away with it. So just throwing that out there. Anyways, anyways, not glorifying it. Don't do it. It was stupid. And if anybody needs anything at all ever, right? My Instagram is attached to my YouTube bio, right? So you just go in my bio, you know, read about me and you'll see a link for Instagram. Click on that. If you ever need anything, just text me, talk to me, whatever. I'll answer, right? You can give me video ideas. If you just want to talk, something's going on, mental health, whatever. I'll answer, right? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I enjoyed telling it. And I am going to go get high. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Peace out and be safe.